June Shannon offers weight loss advice, fans lose their minds. Season 2 of Mama June, From Hot to Not premieres on January 12th. As you may know, June Shannon is going to be a beauty queen. The first season documented the steps that she took to lose weight. So the second season will show her trying to make the most of it. But how, exactly, does she keep the weight off? Since you asked, June Shannon shared how. And she's getting roasted over it. She spoke to people about how she's retained her significantly trimmer figure since she first underwent her body transformation. It's all about portion control for me, she said. That's a common, if not fun, answer. Nobody wants to hear that their fondness for eating a family size meal themselves might be what's keeping them back from attaining their dream body. It's not easy to eat like you're supposed to and hit the gym all the time, but I'm just trying to maintain it the best I can, she adds. Mum and June also shares that she sleeps until 1pm. And, in the process, skips breakfast, cutting out an entire meal's calories. While also relishing in the comfort of her bed, to boot. This sounds bad. But I'm more of a snacker, she says. Snacking can be fine, or even, for some metabolisms, ideal, depending on what the snack is. Of course, that's a grey area. June says that a normal snack for her is grapes and cheese, for what that's worth. You could certainly do a lot worse. For dinner, she prefers baked chicken and quinoa or baked pork chops, corn and beans, the reality star added. Of course, Shannon concedes, if I'm craving something sweet, Little Debbie jelly cakes are my favourite cheat snack. Those do sound good. But just as when news broke of a June Shannon workout video, people were quick to criticise. Some pointed out that June's advice seemed. Less than helpful at least. And possibly even inherently dishonest. One commenter replied, I'm pretty sure it was the gastric sleeve which physically prevented her from eating. Her secret to weight loss? Dot. Another person took even harsher aim at Mama June, referencing her controversial past actions, writing. I hate when people say that they have lost all that weight. No, you had it surgically removed. There is a difference between someone busting their ass to lose weight and having the fat sucked out. Honestly, that seems silly to us, weight loss is weight loss. Another comment, however, cut right to the point. 
I'm pretty sure if someone paid for all my expenses for weight loss surgery, excess skin removal, a personal trainer, and chef that he'd be able to lose weight and keep it off too. Damn. That's a fair point in that there's much more at work for Mama June than portion control and sleeping in. That same commenter didn't leave it at that and went a little overboard with their next jab, however, writing. She's still a hillbilly skank no matter what her weight. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, another commenter wrote. And I'm pretty sure she had surgery to lose all that weight. She sure did have surgery. No one is denying this. Honestly, though, who has time to eat breakfast? Do people really still do that on a regular basis? Is that a thing? What a horrible woman. Another fan wrote. So into herself. How about getting up at a normal time and teaching your kids to eat properly? Look, to each their own. If you don't have a job or pets or young children to get you up, 1 p.m. is a perfectly normal time to get up. Who would get up before noon if you don't have to? Apparently a lot of people. If we could all be lazy pieces of excrement and sleep until 1 p.m., laments another judgmental commenter. Kids have school, have a job, this anti-June critic goes on, with passion, why waste half a good day being worthless? Again, some of the backlash seems unwarranted. Why do some people get so worked up over when someone else gets out of bed? Especially since, you know, someone who gets up late was probably up late also. But some of these seem to have a point. Mum and June's secrets to success seem to have a lot to do with some massively expensive procedures and luxuries that a few can afford. Not all of us have reality TV show money or producers lining up to finance and film said transformation on additional shows.